case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a case that brought the rights of truckers into the national spotlight, the Supreme Court delivered a judgment that upheld a crucial provision of the Surface Transportation Assistance Act of 1982. This provision safeguards employees who refuse to operate vehicles found non-compliant with safety standards or who file complaints about such non-compliance. Jerry Huffstetler, an employee of Roadway Express, a substantial interstate trucking company, found himself at the heart of this contentious legal struggle. Accused of disabling lights on his truck to unjustly garner extra pay while waiting for repairs, Huffstetler was discharged from his job. In retaliation, Huffstetler lodged a complaint, citing safety concerns with the employer's fleet of trucks. In examining Huffstetler's case, the initial investigation by the Department of Labor identified reasonable cause to suggest that Huffstetler's departure from Roadway Express constituted a breach of Section 405 of the Act, which resulted in an order for his immediate reinstatement, complete with back pay. In response, Roadway Express mounted a legal challenge in an attempt to stave off this enforcement order. Eventually, the case found its way to the District Court, which granted Roadway Express a summary judgment, ruling in parts that Section 405 was unconstitutional, since it did not afford the employer an evidentiary hearing and the right to cross-examination prior to the order of reinstatement. However, the Supreme Court reversed this decision in part and upheld it in part. Upon closer review, the Supreme Court held that the prior process adopted by the Labor Secretary was indeed robust and in line with the due process rights guaranteed by the Fifth Amendment. Specifically, it upheld the right to preliminary reinstatement without an evidentiary hearing, pointing out how it balanced the needs of the government, the employee, and the employer by enabling a preliminary probe and letting the secretary make a finding of reasonable cause, which was then followed up by a full hearing at the request of the employer. Through this intricate legal conflict, the Supreme Court drew a distinction due process requirements and the practical necessities of getting to the truth. Its ruling in Brock v. Roadway Express serves as a testament to the principle that employers must be given notice of allegations, the opportunity to respond, and indeed the chance to submit arguments in writing. At the same time, it affirmed an employee's right to voice concerns about safety violations without fear of retaliation. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class. 